The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials uh, trading down 152. We get the Nasdaq off 54. S&P's down 18. That's a, a drop of uh, six tenths of one percent in the Dow, six tenths in the Nasdaq, and three tenths in the S&P. Gold contract. Gold contract uh, trading up two dollars and sixty cents at twelve eighty-seven an ounce. We have silver flat, $14.78 an ounce. Light sweet crude, up 11 cents, $61.81 a barrel. Notes and bonds, uh, they want higher price, lower yield. And they, uh, we, they are buying notes and bonds hand over fist, folks. 10-year note, up three ticks, 124.03. 30-year bond, up seven ticks, 148.29. But if you want to see the volume behind these, uh, these are big volume bars. And we'll take a look at the 10-year first, but you're going to see uh, T.Y. What we have with the 10-year, you had volume come in yesterday. Uh, we did over 2 million contracts yesterday, which is huge contract volume, but we're going to do that uh, again today. Yesterday, we did uh, 2 point, let's see, yeah, 2.1 million contracts. Hit a price point of uh, 124.08. Bottom line, you're at 124.03 right now. We've already done a million contracts. Big numbers. 30 years, same type of setup. King dollar. What do you have with king dollar? King dollar. King dollar's lower. Volume is contracting on king dollar, but it's not holding price. We've only done 6,300 contracts and king dollar. Yesterday, we did, I believe, 16,000, uh, which was a little, um, that's, that's up on volume. There's no doubt about that. Now, king dollar is inside its lower range. Let's go take a look at this. So... Yeah, we did 17,900 contracts yesterday. So bottom line, you're inside the range. That sets up uh, a good king dollar going down to that 94, uh, 950 area. We're going to take a look at the euro, just the opposite of uh, king dollar, of course. Uh, euro, bottom line, this baby is pushing into its higher range. You uh, are 112.44, and anything inside of the uh, 111.77 gets it in, in its higher, higher, higher range. We go over to the yen. We take a look at the yen, what you have with the yen right now. Yen's trading at 109.66. Now, this is what's helping the gold market out here. Uh, gold hasn't broke topside yet, but bottom line, just as the bonds want to break topside, gold's looking to break topside also. What we have inside the yen, the yen is at 109.66. That's down from 112 two weeks ago. So 112 is a weak yen. 109 is a strong yen. When you get a strong yen, gold likes to go to the moon. Right now, I suspect what we're going to go after is going to go after this 108.92 number. So you got big action uh, inside these uh, currencies. We go over to the gold market. We take a look at gold. What you have with gold out here, gold right now. We have the gold market trading up $2.40. Uh, you get 139,000 contracts, which is good contract volume this early in the morning. Bottom line, yesterday you were pushing higher also with the 307,000 contracts. Uh, this uh, gold is trying to get inside the uh, 1287. The next leg here, yeah, look at this, man. It's, it's really, it, it's, it, it, we hit 1289, but this 1288, 1290, this supply line is giving it some grief. There's no doubt about that. You know, then that supply line, by the way, folks, goes all the way over to December uh, 28th of 18. That's where the supply line is coming. And uh, we'll see how this uh, baby shakes out. But the way that it is setting up, it looks like it wants to bust topside. We take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here in this market. And today, you know, what you have, um, which is pretty serious, is that you have Asia up, you have... Europe up, and our market can't hold price. It looks to me like we're building a monster ABC structure on the way down. You get advanced micro uh, right now, uh, five cents. You get semant semantic, because that's down 345. That's getting hit. Zillow is up 262. Uh, they come out with numbers last night. We'll go over those in the next segment. Apple's uh, down $3. Let's go take a look at Apple. So Apple's just slowly getting sliced up here. We got Apple, uh, you know, last uh, 10 days, you're down from 215. You're at 196. You've uh, got by the gap. Now you're into 
the 197 area. And you can see when you're looking at this chart that that's where it wanted to get into, number one. What this sets up with Apple is about a 184. 184, folks, is the low that was established out here on the 26th of March. Um, we'll see, uh, you know, uh, bottom line, uh, just what type of acceleration we get on the way down. Looking inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness out here, you get uh, uh, point-wise, you get Apple putting in 26 negative points, Boeing 21, Home Depot uh, 18, Caterpillar 13. Positive-wise, you have Big Mac putting in six positive, Walmart putting in five, Procter & Gamble putting in two. We go to the NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX. What we have with the NDX out here, there she goes. Um, NDX, you get JD.com is up 5%. Uh, Bookings.com is up 4.7. You get Qualcomm up 1.3. Xilinx is up 4 tenths of 1%. Taken away from it, Symantec down 15%. You got Marriott uh, down 4%, Wynn International is off 37 and you got Mylan Pharmaceutical uh, down 3 Let's go see what Marriott has to say. They come up with numbers. So you got Marriott uh, down $5, $129. That's a, that's, a, that's a big number there. So let's see what we got here. Okay, so Marriott International... They were looking to uh, make a dollar thirty-four. They made a dollar forty-one, so they beat there. On revenue, they were looking to make, do five point one three billion. They did five billion. You can see once again uh, we've been going through these uh, as the last couple of weeks as these numbers, folks. Um, bottom line is that what you can see the market does not take kindly to an equity that's claiming that they make more money at the bottom line and their revenue in the top line. Uh, isn't there. Bottom line, you can see it over and over and over again, and that's what you have uh, happening out here. We go take a look at this um, S&P right now. Now, when you take a look at this S&P, uh, yes, I, it looks to me like we got a, a large ABC structure setting up here. Uh, come on, baby. Let's see. That one. Okay. Let me get another screen. It is a screen. Okay. ESM9. So when you take a look at this S&P, what you're going to see out here is that, you know, we get about seven or eight days into lower price. Uh, you get a bounce up, and this was really dangerous. Yeah, so we get a high of the futures of uh, 2961. You're at 2850. We hit 2889 today. It couldn't hold price. Um, that's, you know, and I suspect we're going to get a little bit lighter volume out here today. That is really dangerous, folks. Because then you have, uh, what, 29.61. Yeah, you get about 125 A to B inside the futures market, which uh, will get you somewhere, let's see, well, 125, that's going to be uh, 27.50. 27.50, so that's about another 100 points down. If we take a look at the next swing point out here. Yeah, there's this year's. So uh, going into May 8th. May 8th, you got uh, 2757 so is the high. Uh, it looks to me like uh, that's where this uh, baby is uh, setting up for. And uh, we'll see how the rest of this uh, shakes out. You get the Dow Industrials right now trading down 174, NASDAQ off 64, S&P's down 22. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. 
Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS Order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow's down 202. You get the Nasdaq off 83. S&P's down 26. Uh, you get the, uh, the composite. Uh, composite's getting some juice on the way down here, if we take a look at this. So composite right now, you're down 83. Now, this takes, it's going to be quite a bit to, you know, you failed at the highs. So now, when you're taking a look at this, more than likely, this is just going to be a monster consolidation, but the lows of this consolidation get down to uh, 61.90. Uh, I suspect the first stop is going to be somewhere around the 77.14. Where I'm going with that 77.14, folks, that is the uh, March 15th high. That's where that is. Okay, so uh, last night what you had, the, you had the negotiations a start between China and the U.S. They're continuing today, bottom line. Um, uh, let's uh, take a look at some of these uh, tweets because uh, the disinformation out here is extraordinary, folks. And so you just really should wrap your head around what tariffs are all about. So Trump is out here this morning. Talks with China continue uh, in a very congenial manner. There is absolutely no need to rush as tariffs are now being paid to the United States by China. Okay, that's a lie. That is not how tariffs work, folks, okay? So let me go through the rest of this. Let me just say it again. As tariffs are now being paid to the United States by China of 25% on $250 billion worth of goods and products. The way tariffs work, if you're importing, it's our companies that are paying the tariffs, folks, not China. These massive payers, the payoffs go directly to the Treasury. What blows my mind is that, you know, the amount of disinformation is amazing, and the real question is, do people believe it or not? That statement right there is just an out-and-out -out lie. Next one. The process has begun to place additional tariffs at 25% on the remaining $325 billion. The, only, the U.S. only sells China approximately $100 billion of goods and, per, and products, a very big imbalance. With over $100 billion in tariffs that we take in, we will buy agricultural products from our great farmers in larger amounts than China ever did and ship it to the poor and starving countries in the form of humanity and Assistance. So it sounds to me like Trump is going a socialist, right? You're going to, first off, you're saying that China's paying for it.
it's not, we're paying for it. You get a transfer of money from one pocket to another pocket. Next one. If we bought $15 billion worth of agriculture from our farmers, far more than China buys, we would then have $85 billion left over for new infrastructure, health care, and anything else. China would greatly slow down, and we would automatically speed up. Tariffs will bring in far more wealth to our country than even a phenomenal deal of the traditional kind. Also, much easier and quicker to do. Our farmers will, be, will do better, faster. Starving nations will, will be helped. Waivers on some products will be granted. Bottom line, folks, all you have to do is go look at the agricultural products. Our agricultural products, okay, are getting smoked beyond belief. That's the bottom line. That's, that's how this is uh, shaken out. So uh, if you're a farmer and you're out there, you're going to see, um, we're going to see quite a bit of destruction because what you're going to see, it's already happening in the Midwest, folks. Bottom line, land prices are down. You know, we'll go from there. They, the, my point more than anything uh, is on the first tweet that China is paying for it. That is an absolute lie. Lie, L-I-E, okay, in a huge way. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We go over and we take a look uh, inside the uh, ND. Or la actually, let's go. So this is what's unusual out here this morning. You have, last night we had Asia up. Japan still closed. Shanghai was up 3.5%. Uh, Xinjiang was up 3.2%. Uh, we go over and we take a look at Europe. And what we have is that Europe, you have the FTSE up uh, one-tenth of one percent, the DAX is up seven-tenths, but watch this. When you're taking a look at this, what it looks to me is that what you have is that you have the DAX, the FTSE, the CAT, all doing ABC structures on the way down. Because what you're going to see out here is that, like right now, I have the DAX up. The DAX is up 90 points. We're trading at a price point of 12064 The... High today was 12,140. Bottom line, you're going to have light volume. That also looks like it's setting up an ABC structure on the way down. We go take a look at the uh, FTSE out here. What you're going to see inside the FTSE, uh, same type of setup. Now, the FTSE's already really gave it, given it up. Uh, what you have is this, is that the FTSE's at 72.21. We hit 72.68. Now, this is a monster ABC down. Well, it's a potential ABC down. You know, you'd have to break the B point with volume. But the way these are setting up right now, uh, they'd be setting up that we're going to go after these B points next week. You're going to see on the FTSE, you have the high out there, 75.28. We have the low of yesterday of 71.92. So uh, 75.20, what did I say, 75.28? Yeah, if we get approximately 300, 300 bucks, which would bring the FTSE down to about 6,900. And 6,900, look at that. Yeah, 6,900 is going to bring you back to January of this year. Bottom line, you get a lot of moving pieces. Uh, those moving pieces, folks, all want lower price. That's how this is set up. Because you've got to remember something. If we take a look at the S&P, no matter where you look, bottom line, folks, is that you have just about everything made in China. So on the S&P, what you have is that the companies in the S&P are going to either eat the 25%, pass it on, or split it up. Either way you go, what will end up happening is that that's going to be higher prices. Higher prices most times equal less selling. That's how this comes down. What we will see and I'm sure these companies are going to be scrambling in a big way, because I don't think this is going to be over quickly, is that they're going to start moving. They'll, they'll, the, the ironic part about this is that they'll start moving to Vietnam. They'll start moving to the Philippines. They'll, 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 they'll go offshore, and they'll go offshore very quickly. And uh, that's what they're going to have to do to bring those tariffs down. Uh, it's, bottom line, it's not going to change the context. It's going to change the context of how much is made overseas versus here. Because if you think the... The last 20, 30 years, uh, and this is the other side of this too, by the way. The last 20 or 30 years, if you wonder why our prices have not gone up, it's because of the aspect of inexpensive labor, huge amount of technology, and that is what kept prices flat. Because when you go back, when I go back just 30 years and I, I look at what things have cost, and I'm talking about you can go from shirts, you can go from anything. Bottom line is that if, if it was all manufactured here, guess what? It would be 
a big, big number, folks, okay? Because it's, it's a cut and dry deal. It's what is the cost of labor versus the cost of goods? You know, the cost of commodities uh, as to the cost of goods, I mean, the, the finished goods are very inexpensive. It's the cost of labor to get the goods done and get the goods out to market. That's where you run into some big numbers. Let's go take a look at the small caps out here. Small caps out here, right? Uh, right now, they're down $1.35. You've done 154 million shares. What we did yesterday is this. You did have an expansion of volume, bottom line. Uh, we hit a low out here yesterday of 153.74. High volume It's going to be coming right back at us, right down to those levels. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFN and you'll find market insights under trading newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow right now is down 215. You get the Nasdaq off 82. S&Ps are down 27. And um, let's go over and take a look at uh, Zillow. So Zillow came out with their numbers last night, folks. Uh, the low for the year is 26. The high is 65. That's trading up uh, $3.50 right now. Uh, it had come down to where it had strength in February. Did it with lighter volume. Bottom line, it just wants to get up into the $45 level now, and you're at 37 
Uh, now, what you, what you have out here, now, the Zillow is already down from a price point of 66. So you're talking about uh, an equity that absolutely gets smoked from uh, 20, uh, th June of 2018 until uh, November of this year. You come back up, uh, we'll see whether we can get any other traction. Now, here goes the numbers on Zillow. So this is going to be, uh, this is pretty, what, here, let's, let me, I'm going to just run you through these first, because this is pretty cool. What they're saying, but when you actually break into it, you know, here, I'll let you make the choice here, but let me go through this. Okay, so what you have is this. The first quarter revenue, uh, the estimate was $430 million, they made 454 So revenue-wise, goes up, right? No doubt. Uh, they see second quarter revenue, uh, the estimate had been $494 million, now they're going to be 568 to 594 Now, that being said, when you take a look at these results, okay, so here we go. Um, Zillow, their PR is saying, okay, uh, how the transforming buy, sell, rent, and finance homes. Today announced this consolidation financial results for the three months ended March 31st of 2019. Now, the first line is what you really want to wrap your head around, okay, which is transforming how people buy, sell, rent, and finance homes, okay. We deliver strong first quarter profits that met or exceeded our own expectations in all segments and plan to streamline real estate transactions come together. Um, so what you have here, folks, is this. Zillow has gone from a advertising platform and they open a mortgage company and then they're actually buying and selling homes. My take on this goes like this. That, okay, so the consolidated revenue increased 51% year over year to 454, exceeding the company's outlook, primarily driven by outperformance in the home segment due to strong demand for Zillow offers. See, the acceleration of gross income, folks, is because they're buying and selling homes right now. That would be a normal deal. You know, let's picture this. Picture that you, you get a, a broker, which we, we advertise on Zillow, okay? We, we get a brokerage, we get a construction company, we get all of the above, right? So what ends up happening is that first you, you're doing just advertising, okay? So let's say it's advertising, 1000 bucks a month, 1100 whatever that is. You got all these brokers in there. Then all of a sudden, you get in the flipping business. Well, bottom line is that they sold 414 homes in the first quarter. That's an increase of 200%. That would definitely bring up your gross. There's no two ways about it. Bottom line, that's when you, their, their advertising business is only growing by 6% to 7%. That's not, a, that's not a big number, man. That's not a big number. So it's going to be interesting watching um, how this whole thing actually does shake out once it gets to the top. I do think it's going to get to that top of 45, but I think when you actually look at the numbers and you get down to that balance sheet, um, it's a huge difference. You're talking... Um, Apples, oranges, all of the above. We get a question here about uh, the tax opportunity zones. If you, okay, so let's go through this, because no matter where you live in this country, folks, okay, um, you've heard my ad um, on the network, more than likely, okay, so we do a lot of building in St. Pete. We happen to, we're in the CRA anyway, okay? The CRA, what happens with the CRA, I've been used to CRAs because they've, they've been around forever. CRA gives you tax credits, gives you all these types of incentives. What has happened with the tax bill, okay, of 2017, there's a whole different ball game that has never happened. This is how it goes. So, no, and no matter where you live, folks, you should look at this because you can do these individually too. This is where, if you wrap your head around this, and I'll give you the the notebook edition or whatever that remember those notes those notes okay so this is how it works there's zip codes across the whole country that are tax opportunity zones the way this works is that let's say that you have a capital gains this year of a hundred thousand you can take that hundred thousand and you can do this individually by the way you can take that hundred thousand you could not pay your capital gains for an additional 10 years. You can pay it seven years, you can pay it 10 years. And let's say the capital gains on that was 30. Well, you end up paying 15%. But that's not the kicker. This is what the kicker is. If you buy inside that opportunity zone, all you want a business inside that opportunity zone, well, yeah, let's, let's just, I'm going to do it this way so you can make it, you can make it real simple. Take the 100,000. No matter where you, you, you build a duplex, two units, right? You have the two units for 10 years, you sell it, the units in 10 years, how much tax you pay? Zero. Zero tax. I'm doing that on, on the lower level, but it's an amazing program. 
Um, what you want to do is you want to, there's, there's zones that are out there. The, there's zones that are out there that are right next to major cities that are already getting gentrified. So the, the, the plus and the minus of it in the program in general, okay, um, is controversial. Bottom line, folks, it's game on like in a huge way. You're going to see these cities get built out much quicker than you've ever seen. Uh, the amount of money that is out there uh, is absolutely incredible. Uh, and you can do this, you can build 100 apartments, you can build one apartment. Um, you can Google this thing, check it out. Uh, what you can do is you can also Google uh, tax opportunity zones. A map will come up, and as the map comes up, you expand the map, and it will show the zip codes, because this is done by a census, okay? And I can, this is the bottom line. Even if you want to speculate and buy dirt, what you want to do, because this is still brand new, there's, you know, we've been into it for a year and a half, but the bottom line is that it's still brand new. Um, what you want to do is you want to buy dirt in those zones, because the dirt in that zone is worth more than the dirt right outside that zone. Because this is, this, is, this is a continuation. This is not like, you know, there's going to be funds that are basically pouring bread into it, but then there's going to be, you could... You can do this all the way up to another 10 years, and then that extends for another 10 years. So this is not like just a 10-year program. This is like an ex exponential program. And um, bottom line is that uh, it's zero tax. So it's pretty wild um, how this uh, whole thing will work out. But it's worth, if you're in the real estate business, if you want to even get your toes dipped into it, um, and thanks, Z, for asking the question, because it's, it's well worth it. It's, it's like insanity, actually, particularly... Because what ends up happening is that you're deferring all your capital gains at the beginning of the deal, but there's never been a program that you actually can do something. And by the way, if you have a business, you can actually open a business and have the same thing and, and sell that business later and still pay no taxes. Wild. 877-927-6648. We get over and we take a look at the GDX what do we have with the GDX out here? So the GDX right now, you know, I actually, I'd like to see it reject lower price out here because you've been, we've been going sideways inside the GDX. The hasn't caught a bid. Uh, if we get this rejection of lower price today, we're going to have lighter volume. That's what we need in order to get to higher price. Right now, the GDX is at $20.41. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow Industrials down 200 and 55, NASDAQ off 108, S&P's down to 34, come right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com. 
educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow is down at 282. You get the Nasdaq off 131. S&Ps are off 40. You get a little bit of acceleration here. We have the uh, Dow right now down uh, 110, 1.1%. Uh, Nasdaq down 1.6. Uh, S&Ps down uh, uh, 8 tenths of 1%. The composite's really uh, building some steam up here. If we go take a look at the uh, NQs, what you're going to see, NQs right now, so the NQs right now are trading down 133. Uh, they just jumped back inside the 75.41, um, and they come in there with a vengeance. So let me just look at this for a second. So if we take this, what's well, going to, you know, this is what's intriguing here. I started off the program saying they're setting up an ABC structure on the way down. Now, what the real problem is for the bulls is that this is still the A to B portion. That's what's going to, that's what's going to take place here, which is pretty intense, man, um, because this leg is just accelerating and if I do this intraday, okay, so intraday, it's 19,000 contracts versus 29,000 contracts. Okay, so you got an ABC. Let me do this here. So we have an ABC structure down on a bigger basis. The real question is going to be where do I start this A point? Well, the most conservative would probably be starting it. You're building cars. You try to get up to ice. Hey, bottom line is that uh, you still, the thing is pretty amazing here, too, folks, okay? You still don't have any fear out here. So, tick, down tick wise, you have only done a, a minus 1188. Let me show you something. Remember, we, we were talking about this. And we've had two different ones, and I, you know, the first one, first uptick was that plus 14.14 that was uh, generated uh, on Monday, which I felt was a problem. You, that doesn't happen on markets that will go higher. What happens is that it was a fast counter trend bounce. If you get a plus 14.14, it's a problem. That's the exact same thing I was saying yesterday. Yesterday, we got a 14.07. You don't want to see that uh, if you're a bull. Because what happens is that when, buy, when markets first bottom out, folks, what you get is that you get fear first, not greed coming in. So the way that you have to get established into a bottom is that you get too much selling, and that when you get too much selling, the acceleration of that down tick goes dramatically up. It's going to go minus 1415, minus 1500, somewhere in there. Then you get a second one. Then simultaneously, what you get, now we, we're starting to get this a little in the, inside the trend, inside the arms index. We're at 1.63. That is expanding. Now, you can see yesterday it, it didn't do it. Yesterday, all day long, it was the same type of 1.1, 1.2. What this means is 1.6, is that people, traders, are selling the same stock. That's, that's, that's the easiest way to basically digest when the trend goes up. As the trend hits two, what it means is that everyone 
is selling the same stock. When everyone sells the same stock, they're going to be selling the high flyers because those are the ones that are going to be going down the quickest. What happens there is that everything sold, the selling subsides, then it doesn't take much buying to basically get into higher price. Right now, low bottom line, we don't have any of it. Uh, if we go take a look at this on a longer term basis, this market only has, uh, it has about another hour to basically do something. Uh, because what will end up happening is that what it, what it's just done, what the, what the SPY has just done, is just jumped in the next lower range. So the SPY is setting up that we can get to the 272, you're at 283. As soon as it jumped inside this uh, 285, that did it. You know, we started off the day at 286. You jump inside 285, then the other end of that is 272. We take a look at the uh, NDX 100, and that baby is set up the same way. Uh, we just, did we jump inside that? Let's see. Yeah, we did. Um, once you jumped inside 182, bottom line, that puts game, not as bad, that put game, well, 175. Puts game down to 175, you know. And we'll see if the uh, volume continues. Okay, so right now, well, this is a cleaner ABC down. I see this one. Let me see this for a second. It's not, as, it's not that big, but it's a clean one. I think it's a clean one. Yeah, it is. Okay, so this is not that, it's not that big an ABC, but intraday what you have is this. So intraday in the queues, you got, let's see, 186.95. Well, it's, it's five bucks, which gets you, uh, there you go. Okay, so we're almost there. 180, 180.29 inside the queues. Um, yeah, well, we have it right here. And this is not done yet. Um, we hit uh, 181.25, so it's got about another point. You know, we'll, um, it's going to be hard for this market to basically get any traction right now. The, uh, you know, no matter what tweet comes out. I would say that, you know, I started off the program, folks, okay? This is where this gets bizarre. So each and every time, because of that first tweet out here today that China is paying for it, let me tell you something. This market's going to pay less attention because now you're dealing with people's money. Um, you know, maybe the, the rest of the country is going to believe that China is paying for the tariffs. But guess what? The people in the money business, there is no way. They're going to look at that like, you've got to be kidding me, man. That you're going to be saying that the China is paying for the tariffs when they know right well these people are sitting there, standing there, saying, bottom line, um, that we are paying for it. Okay? Market is saying it flat out also. You know, so... I suspect, as I said a little bit earlier, you're going to have some of these uh, companies move uh, offshore. And they'll, they'll, they're going to have to move offshore. That's what it is. Because the spreads, and I'll do this Monday. I have the spreads, actually, uh, on the uh, Bloomberg did, did this deal. If I can find it quickly, they did this deal. It's pretty cool that the, um, the aspect of the spread on some of these S&P companies uh, what they're making right now, meaning 7 to 10%, and what will happen with the 25%. You know, it's not, it's not dramatic, but it's enough that what, you, what you're seeing out here is that the, if you're a fundamentalist, what you're seeing is that the PE of what these companies are going to trade for has to go down. That's, that's, that's the bottom line, because the spread is going to go down. What, what no one knows yet is that as the spread goes down, Will more goods be sold or does everyone tighten up? If, if, if people tighten up, it's going to be a different ball game. You know, right now the economy is still hot. I mean, it's not hot. It's a good economy. There's no doubt about that. The real question is going to be, as the prices get pushed, do people get nervous and say, okay, man, I've got to stop pulling back? And if that's the case, then, then you're talking a different ball game. Let's go take a look at uh, Amazon out here. A-M-Z-N. So we get Amazon trading right now down 32 bucks. Uh, we have, let's see, so we accelerate in here. 3 million, 1.8. Yeah, you get some volume here. We get some volume on Amazon. So Amazon can get into uh, 1823. Uh, we look at Google. Oh, I think Uber's trading, right? Ew. Is that trading out there yet? They're always they're going to get that opened. No, not yet. So Uber is, looks like it's going to open between 45.50 and 46. Uh, that's where that's the indication right now. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down 276. Nasdaq's off 119. S&P's are off 37. Apple's uh, off $6.10. Apple's getting some uh, heavy selling pressure inside it, folks, which, of course, puts pressure inside the Dow Industrials as well as the NDX 100. If we go over to that Dow and take a look at the uh, movers out here on the way down, you're going to see uh, Apple is peeking its head out as number one. It's putting 45 negative points into the Dow. Boeing's putting 29. If we take a look at Boeing, what you're going to see with Boeing, this is going to be on a weekly break also. Uh, Boeing broke under this uh, 361. You're down 445 out here today. Uh, this, uh, this is a decisive break, too. Uh, you know, so this is uh, setting up. Boeing wants to get down to 292. Uh, you know, we started off at uh, 4, 446, bottom line. Uh, it was building cars, broke it. Now the bottom of that... Um, consolidation is wide open, which is that 292. And the bottom line is that uh, we're not that far away from it when you're only uh, 50 points away from it. Uh, we, were, we were 50 points uh, higher uh, just four weeks ago inside Boeing. So big numbers, man. Um, but they still have some monster problems. They, they have trust problems. That's what's going to happen out here. Uh, that's what ha already has happened with Boeing. The real question is, is that they're going to have to rename that uh, um, plane. I, I suspect... Uh, somehow, some way that uh, that Max is going to be renamed, and I'm not quite sure if they're going to uh, 
uh, what they're going to do with the um, 787, but uh, they're, they're going to they're going to have to probably rename it. And since everyone has a shot memory, maybe that will fly. Stay right there, folks. We have uh, Fast Market coming up next, and we get our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon. You have a great one, a safe one. Uh, Dow, Dow down 274, Nasdaq off 119, S&P's off 36. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one.